pass the House and it, it awaits action in the Senate. I believe it was, I think it was referred to finance in the Senate, which is their Ways and Means Committee, if you will. Mike, Mike Johnson, all of the town wall House Bill 1122 was passed. Could y'all, uh, each one of y'all respond to whether you voted for it or not and why? <laughs> you got a name for that bill? <laughs> Y'all passed it. <laughs> it and a few hundred others. What? 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 What's it do specifically? Is that the one regarding regulation and yeah. ag property? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's what yeah. okay. yeah. um, okay. I don't know if my chairman, Miss Fousey, wants yeah. to speak or something. Well, uh, actually, I think I voted for it, regrettably. Uh, it's one of those that sneaks by and they, they they tell you the high points and once it gets out it, you start reading the details and you find out it ain't as pretty as it they put a little they put some lipstick on it when it came through uh, honestly I'm trying to see that it doesn't make it through the Senate I'm trying to get a kill but uh, I think I did vote for it uh, because at that particular time it was it was an agriculture friendly bill Farm Bureau was backing it and uh, I, the day it came through or whatever, I'll be honest, I dropped the ball, just didn't read every line, you know, in it. And then after it, after it passed out, after it passed, I started hearing from some concerned uh, mayors. Up until that point, I don't know if anybody had caught the fact that it did what it did, but uh, I'm, a, I'm a living example of uh, why that bill's not a good bill because I, I was uh, annexed into my town uh, years ago, and there's about 100 acres behind me, directly behind me, and one of the reasons I was wanting to be annexed, and I was a very big minority in that fight, but I was wanting to be annexed because I didn't want a hog farm or a chicken house put 100 foot behind my house, which it technically could be if this bill passes. So uh, I don't know what the, the main intent of the bill was, and, and as usual, it's, it's, it's to help agriculture and to keep people from being allowed to have bees and do honey that you know it's got some positive to it you know you don't want to stop all agriculture inside of municipalities but i think it it opened the door a little too wide personally uh, for me so i'm trying to either get it changed or killed altogether that's just randy's would it have a negative effect on property values that's correct yeah exactly because you, you put a chicken house behind my house i feel like my value of my home probably would go down some so Yes, you are 100% correct. I think it's going to hurt your avalor values in town, which in essence is going to hurt you not only your city tax, it's going to hurt your county taxes too, because when the values of those properties go down, the county loses um, money as well. So yes, I, it, it was. Uh, I think it was one of those bills where the, the total repercussions of it weren't thought out very well, and maybe it, it, it widened it a little too much. But uh, it's still, it's still. Uh, still alive or I, I think in the Senate if it is we're going to do our best to see it's, it's not. It's been referred to Agriculture Committee in the Senate that's where it sits currently. I just looked it up to see where it was. It has not had any committee action. Um, Deadline I, Wednesday? Wednesday? Deadline's Wednesday Deadline. so if they don't move on it by Wednesday it's dead anyway. Well, thank you. One question about the census. Is a state program. I know most of that's federal money to push for the census, but you know, it, in terms of our population, the county's population, we get money based upon our population numbers. And I don't think the general public realizes that. Has there been any thought? I know it falls on probably the Secretary of State or whoever to push that mission, but of, of really pushing money next year toward focusing on people understanding the positives of getting an accurate census for the state. Because it, it really, when our population drops, for obvious reasons, about 1,500, it, our money, just in terms of fire protection, went from 10,000 to 2,500, 20, based just on population. And so I know that affects, well, that affects the county's numbers. It affects the mayor, you know. Uh, is there any, any thoughts you think going to be next year about putting money toward education on that? I hadn't heard any thoughts about money going toward it, but here's what I would say to you. We're a rural state, not a lot of folks, and we're losing folks in the state. And as you know, we lost a congressman several years ago because of that, and we're not that far from losing another. 
So I would submit to you every effort is going to be made to get a real count this time because we probably didn't get a good count last time. Um, and because of the danger, as, as we relate to the federal government, and if for no other reason than political reasons and powerful politics, folks want to ensure those four seats are there. So it may not be for the same reason you want it for, but, but the end result is the same. They are really putting some focus on it. Now, whether or not money follows that, I don't know. Uh, but it's, it's for that reason. Uh, and, and I would encourage, I don't know if the state, I wasn't here 10 years ago, so I don't, I don't know that the state ever gets involved in the, in the educational process or the promoting process of the census. However, uh, I actually worked for the census for a short period of time during the census last time. Uh, prior to getting in this office and I can tell you one of the biggest problems is and I think we in the south are a little more guilty is all oh, the government don't need to know my business they don't I, you know a lot of I know I have a lot of constituents they don't want the government to know they exist much less tell them how much money they make I mean people <laughs> living in households like that so we fight that I think it's got I, I think it's just a southern thing you know everybody wants their privacy uh, but we as a community, we as office holders, public servants, mayors, representatives, senators, chambers of commerce, newspaper, even if the newspaper had to devote half a page the week during the census, you know, to encourage people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, we as leaders need to encourage people to, to you know, get involved in the process because, like you said, uh, the, especially our smaller communities, they, they, we need the numbers. And, uh, and and when you go for a grant to up do to upgrade your your sewer lagoon, mayor, you know if you're serving five six thousand people, but your census says you've only got four thousand, you can only get the money to fix your sewer lagoon for four thousand people. You know, so it, it's all it all rolls downhill. But we all, as concerned citizens, and you're all concerned citizens, you wouldn't be here right now. Uh, need to really really encourage folks to participate in this census and uh, and, and like I said if nothing else just so we can keep our our federal representation in Washington and uh, keep our congressmen and our senators thank you further questions Turn no further questions I want to thank you all for being here